Welcome back, and today we're going to be viewing the first ego of the Season 4 Olympus Pass, and that ego is Bygone Days Gregor. Bygone Days Gregor is a test level ego. He has a 20 base and a plus 4 roll. He does pierce damage. He has a 1 attack weight. After attack, you heal 15 SP for yourself and 2 other allies with the lowest SP. If the target survives this, you consume 3 sinking count of the target, and then you heal additional SP for your allies and yourself equal to the sinking potency on the target, which the maximum SP you can heal from this is 20. If the target is defeated, inflict 3 sinking and 1 curse on 3 random enemies. For focus encounters, it's all the abnormalities parts. This is pretty cool. Curse, it's always nice to see some more curse. This ego is somewhat expensive for being a Teth. It costs 2 Lust and 4 Gloom to use, and on use, you lose 20 SP. Resistances change to Fatal to Lust, Ineffective to Gloom, and Fatal to Envy, which is not that good. The passive of this ego is called If I Could Go Back. After attack, if the target is defeated with this unit's attack, you gain one resource for the least amount of resources that you have. Say you have one of every ego resource except for lust, you will gain one lust resource. And you gain additional ego resource for every five sinking potency count, max of three. That is that's pretty pretty good actually. Now upon corroding, you will get a twenty seven roll with a negative eight as a coin. You'll deal blunt damage, so this is good. We got blunt damage and a negative coin. Your attack weight stays the same at 1. If the target has cursed, deal plus 50% more damage, which I believe that's what uh, Faust had for her, uh, whatever it's called, the, the bear with the nails in it. And on hit, you inflict 2 Gloom Fragility, and inflict 1 additional Gloom Fragility for every 2 Gloom Resonance, maximum of 2. On hit, you inflict 3 Sinking Count, and on hit, you inflict 3 Curse. Now, this is really good. You make them weak to gloom. You make them really weak to gloom. You give them sink and count. You deal more damage for your curse. You put more curse on them. And if you don't know what curse does, curse at the end of the turn, whoever is afflicted by curse gains one of the following uh, effects and then you lose one count. Uh, it gains attack down, defense down, offense level down, or defense level down. Time to rate this ego. So for the drip, I like his non-corroded version. It's it's pretty basic, right? But I like it. I think it's just I think it's gonna it would go above lantern. But its corrosion really really does a lot for it. I like the I like the, the like the big old goofy ego corrosions. Lantern's ego is pretty pretty high. Because it has a base of 20, which you, I like the base rolls. If you haven't noticed that, I like the base rolls. And a plus 4, which goes to 24 on base. And 27 with a negative coin, negative 8 on corrosion, which is good. Corrosion, so you like to see negative. Because if you corrode into it, you're going to roll negative if you're at negative sanity. But, that rolls a 35 at max, and a 20, no, that rolls a 19 at the lowest. Which is not terrible. Even at its lowest... It's strength, it does 50% more damage with curse, and you inflict more gloom affinity, uh, gloom fragility, which is very good, and sink and count is very good. So the strength of this ego, you have to consider it's being a teth, so you have to like view it as that. So viewing it as a teth, I will give it a whopping 8.5. It is a very strong ego, very good for teth. And its usefulness, it does, it's a gloom, it's a glo it wants to get gloom resonance, it wants you to have curse, so it goes well with Faust, it has blunt, and also has pierce, which is good, having two different attacks on corrosion and not corrosion is very, very useful sometimes, you heal SP, you induce sinking, you do curse, and it has a very good passive too, so, I'd have to rate that a blah, 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 whopping 8.52. It's not the it's not the savior or nothing. It's not like gonna blow you out of this world, but it's a very good ego, and I would would very recommend you use it if you have it. Yeah, that's about it. Have a good one.